guys, I'm Katie. So today we're going to be doing some DIYs with Sharpies. I have a lot of Sharpies here um, and I really like doing DIYs with them. So um, we're going to be doing some. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's go. Number one. So for the first, I guess you could say DIY with Sharpies is going to be some nail art because I like doing my nails. <laughs> so all you need is whatever colored Sharpies you'd like. You could use either glue, a normal peel off base coat or a peel off base coat that we made in my five nail life hacks or whatever I made like a couple of months ago. I know Simply Nail Logical really hates glue, as you can see in the next clip, but um, the trick is to add water to it. I had to use Elmer's glue as the peel off base coat. Oh my god, I'm cringing already. <laughs> then, for the base, since we're doing like school supplies theme, I guess, I'm using some. Tipex, we call it Tipex, I just got the off-brand version, um, but I think people call it Whiteout, um, but in our one we call it Tipex. <laughs> and for the last thing you need, you can use a top coat if you want to, but you don't have to. <laughs> so for the first one, I'm actually going to be copying something that Simply Now Logical has done before. And I really liked it, so I'm just going to be doing that and showing you how to. So I think I'm just going to do one hand of nail stuff, because I cannot write with my right hand, because, fun fact, I'm left-handed. So, yeah. And also, did you know that people used to think left-handed people were evil because in Latin, Left means sinister. There's a fact for you. Yay. So what you want to do if you're using a peel off base coat, just put that on and let it dry for a while. And when that's dried, you are going to use some Tipex or white out or whatever you say if you want to. You can always just use some white nail polish, but I'm just going with the school supplies theme because Simply Nail Logical did that. <laughs> so then we're taking our colorful Sharpies and we're just coloring a rainbow in. I know that's not the actual rainbow colors, colors of the rainbow. So here they are. Um, they're not the best, but um, I've done worse. <laughs> Um, obviously you can use like normal nail polishes, but um, since I used Tipex it sort of started coming off in some parts, probably also because I used a glue based peel off face coat thing that I made, um, but yeah, they're a nice easy little nail art design thing that you can do if you're bored. <laughs> Then I'm letting you watch me peel my nail polish off. Well, if you could even call it nail polish. I didn't use any nail polish in that, but it's pretty satisfying. Um, especially the middle finger. That's really cool. Now this is the best one, watch this. Oh yeah, peel it off. <laughs> it's really cool, I like it. <laughs> of course this last one is the best peel ever. Number two. So for the second, that's four again. 
for the second DIY, um, we're going to be designing this cuff from the bottom of some jeans. Um, last week I did a video all about recycling jeans um, and people seem to really like it. So um, here's another recycling jeans thing. Um, we're basically just going to be decorating it with Sharpies. So all you need is the end of some jeans. I, I call it the cuff, but I don't know what other people call it. <laughs> Some colored Sharpies. I'm going with a galaxy theme today, so I'm using some pink, some purple, some pinky purple, and some blue. Some nail polish remover. That, it's a really cool technique. <laughs> and if you want to spread the nail polish around, you can always just use a cotton bud. So then all I really did was scribble with Sharpies on the little piece of denim, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> um, in random like orders with all of the colors that I picked out. And then I used some nail polish remover and a cotton bud to spread the Sharpie ink around so they blended together. Then I'm just using a Tipex white out whatever it's called pen to draw on some little dots to make little constellations, I guess. <laughs> and then I'm just, you know, modeling that little bracelet that I made? Really? I didn't know that. I thought you bought it in a shop. Why, thank you. <laughs> um, well, actually, one of my classmates, Sophie, shout out to you, um, she asked me to make one for her. Um, so, she obviously liked it, um, and look at my nails. I used tin foil and Sharpies, and I forgot to include it in the video, sorry. <laughs> Number three. And for the last DIY, we're going to be decorating a t-shirt. Um, so I tried to like dye this, like an ombre type thing, like blue into pink but it didn't really work out that well. Like, also look at my nails, really nice. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it didn't really work out that well. So I just decided that I'm going to sacrifice this t-shirt because I didn't have any more plain ones and I need more than two um, DIYs in my video. <laughs> so yeah, um, you will need a t-shirt, preferably a plain one, a pencil to sketch out some designs, and a bunch of sharpies. So I already drew out some designs on this with um, a pencil, um, so I'll just do a little speed drawing I guess. Um, with the Sharpie markers. So I'm just coloring in um, all of the little drawings that I did. It's kind of like um, cute stickers type t-shirt. I don't know. I based it on like a denim jacket like with patches, iron on patches. Um, I don't know if it gave off that look, but um, I used a notebook underneath it so it wouldn't bleed through to the other side because then it would look really stupid um, at the other side. Um, but yeah, you can do whatever designs you like. But I did these designs because why not? <laughs> t-shirt on. I really hope you like it. I certainly do. Um, and if you have any other ideas that you'd like to see on my channel, then of course you can comment down below if you like.